Oh, hello. You caught me winding down for the night, but uh, I could use a little bit of pillow talk. I hurt my back on Friday. I guess that's just part of being old. I was bent over too much. Oh, spare me your jokes, perverts. I was working on some screen printing equipment. I don't have any tables in my shop, so I just have to set stuff on boxes to work on them. I was bent over for about 20 straight minutes. When I stood up, my back just seized, got all stiff, and I haven't been moving right since. Hey, you guys know I'm a big fan of auditing things. I just think it's good to reevaluate our processes and stuff like that every once in a while to make sure it's still working and effective. So I've been thinking about some of the phrases we use in the American lexicon. Y'all know the phrase, he went to the well one too many times. We got to cut that shit out. Just doesn't make any sense. I mean, one, who's using a well in 2020 anyway? Two, what happens when the well dries up? What are you going to do? I mean, it just kind of, you say he went to the well one too many time, times, there's a certain acceptance of like, oh, okay, well, I guess we're just fucking out of water. Where's the, where's the foresight in that? Who's thinking about solving these problems? Why are we just saying, well, he went to the well one too many times? Also, they like to say it in sports. And um, it makes even less sense to me then. Because you say it in the context of like, your opponent figured you out. And, and they've, they've got you scouted. They know what you're going to do. They use it in wrestling all the time too. It's like you knew he was going for that German suplex there. So you had your foot inside the, the left leg and blocked it. But it doesn't make sense because a well is not your opponent. You know what I'm saying? Like a well is not going to figure you out. If you go to the well one too many times, guess what? The well is just out of water. The well hasn't outsmarted you. The well hasn't scouted you. They don't know what your next move is going to be. They're just out of water. And also it's an inanimate object. So it like physically cannot because it doesn't have a brain. A well doesn't have a brain. So all those reasons are why I think we should stop saying that. And speaking of phrases that have the word well in it, what's the mileage on that? What's that Lassie Timmy stuck in the well joke? Because I think we got to get rid of it too. If my 2006 Nissan Altima gets half the mileage that that joke has gotten, then I won't ever need another car ever. I don't want another car. I don't know why you would want another car other than a 2006 Nissan Altima, but I'm just saying it, I'm making a point. Besides, have we not reached a generation that doesn't know who Lassie is anymore? Like if you tried to tell that joke to a one-year-old, they're probably not gonna understand it because they don't know who Lassie is because Lassie's like, 58 years old. Lassie is a token of America's past, and I think we should just get rid of that joke too. To recap, we are going to stop saying somebody went to the well one too many times, and we're gonna stop making the joke about Timmy getting stuck in the well because it's not relevant anymore. I think this has been a productive audit. Finally, I'm gonna ask you guys, how many gummy bears do you think you could realistically eat in one sitting? I don't think I could stop. I think I could eat all the gummy bears you put in front of me. They would fill up my belly. Okay, guys, I'm going to go to bed now. I'm really happy to have brought Instagram pillow talk back for 2020. <laughs> Good night and rest in peace.